All right, all right. Beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful family. Welcome back to Awoke of Minds. Um, guess there's not a lot of light in here. I'm in my uh, in my semi truck, just waiting for my trailer to be loaded and whatnot. So, uh, was inspired to make a live video um, talking about uh, doorways of opportunity. Will you step in it? Will you just look at it? Or would you turn in a different direction? Um, so in life, we have opportunities. We have moments, we have experiences. Opportunities are nothing but experiences. So this has come down, you know, to that level. It's nothing but a life experience. Um, even if we're uh, even if we know about the opportunity or don't even know about the opportunity, uh, there's still a a moment where, how can I say this? Let me rewind this. What I was trying to say is this. Even if you know or don't know, if you have been helped in the spiritual world, by your ancestors, by the creator, by um, nature spirits, whatever practice that you practice. If these doorways open for you, opportunity, we have choices to make in that moment. We can step in it instantly. We can look at it, contemplate, think about it. And then go in or don't go in. Or we can strictly just go in a different direction. Now, we don't know exactly what lies behind that door that just opened. But we do know something will merge in front of our physical eyes when we step inside there. And even if we don't step inside that moment of opportunity and decide to, let's say, go in a different direction, some people may never go through that doorway and always be complacent, always be stagnant and afraid to move forward into the unknown. This doorway is the unknown. But even when you don't step into the unknown, stay living your day-to-day -day life, nothing changing except as a daily routine. An opportunity always will present itself for you to move in a better direction to get a change of scenery, right? And once we get a change of scenery, we get a different perspective. Now let's get to the part when it comes to, how can I say this? If we decide to go in a different direction, but we wasn't stagnant, but we decided to either go around that opportunity because not all opportunities are better, are good for us at that moment or maybe never at all. So when we decide to go in a different direction because we know there's something else out there for us that has a better energy for us to experience um, another doorway opens and then we have another choice of if we going to go in that doorway, if we're going to sit back, contemplate, think about if this is the right decision, you know, kind of feel our way through it and still go through it or not go through it and be stagnant or just turn the direction, and go to another doorway, you know, or wait for the other opportunity as I, as I'm trying to say. So. And now, you know, we still got choices. Regardless if you decide to step in that doorway of opportunity right now, tomorrow, or never, opportunities will always come at your doorstep. <laughs> will always be another doorstep for you to embark on that journey. And if you're not embarking on something new, like this opportunity, this unknown world, you know, this unknown opportunity, how can you truthfully live your life's full potential? 
Like, how can you do that? How can you grow? Because the purpose of us is to come down here, learn through these different experiences, which are these opportunities, so we can learn, grow, and expand. So how can we grow as individuals and as a human species if we're not taking these doorways of opportunities when they present themselves? You know, it's like everything has a cycle. It's the same cycle. Every season, we have different seasons. But within these seasons, we have different experiences that takes us to a whole different level of a season. So what I encourage for everyone to do, at least try it out. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid of those opportunities and step into something that's different and see how life presents itself to you. See how adaptable you are. See how resilient you are. See how you how much you can grow. And even if you stepped into the opportunity and it wasn't so good at that moment, it doesn't mean that um, it's the end of your life or the end of the world or there's all hope lost. It doesn't mean that at all. It just means that you now have to learn from the opportunity that wasn't so favorable at that moment, that wasn't a good business decision or whatever you decide to do. It's like, it's the opportunity for you to learn so you can grow. Through your mistakes, it's opportunity for you to learn and grow. And if you're not learning through your mistakes, you're not stepping into that new doorway of, of learning and growing. You're still stagnant, you're still not getting, you're still getting hit inside of your head, you're still having a hard head, right? So, How do we become aware of these opportunities? How do we have that confidence, that courage, and that inner knowing that whatever we decide to do, there's still a learning opportunity for growth. And there's still a great outcome out of this. Even though we may be in that dark, there's still a great opportunity out of this, op I mean, a great opportunity that emerges, that presents itself into the world. You know, we aren't built to just be stagnant and let our energy just fucking... Uh, 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 you ever seen a pond or, or a, a river that um, kind of does a... It doesn't flow harmonically. It just kind of... You'll see some filth or some trash or some some nasty looking foam stuff that may be kind of on the on the riverbank we can't function as that as a people we can't have our energy stagnant like this so why not jump into that new opportunity and let your your abundant river of energy your abundant abundantness just grow and experience that so i made a pdf to help people feel their energy, become intimate with the universe and deliberately create the reality. It is so much of practices that I implement in my life that brings me inner peace, that brings me this this inner awareness of myself and everything that's happening around me. And I will put that in a dis in a description. No. Yeah, I'll put it in the description link. Uh above or below in, above or below in this video so you guys can check it out you can print it out and it's just like i said my my daily uh practices that puts me in a very uh, balanced calm and uh, inner peaceful kind of state so as always much love joy peace and balance to you all and if you haven't checked out my youtube channel awoke of minds uh i just post a lot of things on uh just you know, from my experiences and what uh, spirit tells me to tells me to talk about, and I get messages um, all the time, and um, I just really like sharing my personal experiences with people because I feel like through my personal experiences, I teach people and I uh, inspire people and empower people to uh, become their true potential and walk a life 
of honesty, integrity, and just just to love and, and support each other. So um, that's it, y'all. So love, peace, joy, balance, all, and thank you.